Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here Official Guide to the GRE, the Revised General Test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problems that we are about to solve are the ones that you will find on page number 232 and 233. Let's turn to page 232. Page 232. On those two pages you will find the continuation of what they are calling 2.7 applications. Problem number 2.7.6.7.8 and 0.9. All of these four problems that you see there are the exact same problem that already appeared in the first edition of the revised GRE book that came out last summer, summer of 2011. Since I have already solved all the problems in this book, I'm not going to redo them. I'm, I'm simply going to tell you the day number that you need to go to to watch the solutions. So let's take a look at it. Problem number two, example, example 2.7.6. On page 232, you will find a solution of this, this example of, on day 112. Problem number 2.7.7, day 113, and then 2.7.8 on the top of the page 233, top of the page 233 deals with the notion of compound interest. And instead of doing the example that they give you there, which is a little bit more complicated example, I started out with a simpler version. I did a simpler example first, example of my own, that, that's not in the book, we just made it up, which is why you see two days here. Day 114 and 115. 115, I think, is the day that I did the actual problem that's in the book. So that's why you see the two days there. Example 2.7.9, you'll find it on day number 116. Alright? As always, I remind you, make sure you type in the word revise in the tag. Make sure you type in the word revise, because without the word revise, you will end up with my old videos. Just if you just type in GRE math day, whatever it is, you will end up with my old videos from three years ago when I did all the quantitative comparison questions, 210 of them out of this book that I'm holding in my hand, which is based on the old format of the GRE, 10th edition of the old GRE. The quantitative comparison questions have not gone away. They still exist in the new exam. But it's just that in addition to quantitative comparison question and the multiple choice questions, they have added two more different kinds of the questions in the new exam, which one, one of them has to do with more than one answer choice as being right answer, Another one has to do with the open-ended questions where you have to put in your own answer choices. Uh, there are no answers there, you have to put in your own answers in the computer, which are open-ended. So they have added, and, and the data interpretation questions are more involved now than they used to be before. They are far more complicated and more involved. They involve a lot more statistics than the old GRE did. But anyway, the quantitative comparison questions have not gone away. And they are, they are from this book. Make sure you type in the word revise, otherwise you will end up with those old videos. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.